I'm Michelle with College Swimming Guide. I'd like to talk about a question that comes up from time to time. How do we get organized for the recruiting process to swim in college? When beginning any project, many people have trouble knowing where to begin and how to focus on getting organized, setting goals, and being motivated. This can apply to your swimmer's approach to being recruited to swim in college as well. Becoming a college swimming recruit can be an intimidating process, especially if you and your swimmer are just getting started. It's never too late to start though, and it's often helpful to break it down into manageable segments. Here are some tasks to get the process started. First, set reasonable goals for swim times in best events. If your swimmer is struggling to get a senior champs time in his best event, it's unlikely for him to expect to achieve a US open cut and to be recruited at a top 10 swim program. Talking to a club coach can help your swimmer develop realistic goals for time improvements between now and the end of his junior year in high school when coaches begin getting serious about recruiting swimmers. Most coaches try to recruit swimmers who will score points in the conference championship meet. After your swimmer sets some reasonable goals regarding times, he needs to see which conferences he fits in by looking up the times achieved in the previous year's championships. College Swimming Guide Fastlane members have access to spreadsheets which compile all of this to save you hundreds of hours of research. By setting reasonable goals, you'll have a better idea time-wise of which schools are viable. Then identify 20 to 25 target schools. These are schools that would be of interest based on climate, geographic location, and size. If your swimmer hates the heat and humidity, going to school in Florida or South Texas is probably not a good idea, as he will only like the climate for about four months of each school year. If your swimmer has an idea of his academic interests, it's helpful, but many students don't at this age. Fortunately, most colleges expect this, and they offer a wide range of um, programs. Something like 75% of freshmen change their major at least once during college, so don't be alarmed if your child does not have career goals in mind yet. Your swimmer may have grown up rooting for the hometown team and always dreamed of swimming at the state flagship school, but most of these schools are very, very fast, and this may not be a realistic goal as your swimmer gets older. There's no need to be discouraged because there is a school for almost everyone. It's a matter of finding the right fit. Another step your swimmer needs to take is making sure his social media is clean. Some coaches and college admissions offices, or officers truly do check the social media accounts of prospective students and athletes, and once something is put on the internet, it can be found. This is the time for your swimmer to check all of her social media accounts and make sure nothing offensive is posted. If a friend frequently posts offensive or off-color material, it's a good idea to unfollow the friend as it can show up on your child's wall. I always told my kids, you are judged by the company you keep, and your child would hate to be eliminated as a potential recruit based on something that one of her friends had posted. Designating time to accomplish reasonable tasks is very important. Instead of looking at times required to score in conference champs for 30 conferences in one weekend, or to complete 20 recruit questionnaires in one day, your swimmer should decide what's manageable along with homework and swim practice. My son used to take about an hour on Saturday afternoons to complete recruit questionnaires. These are found on most college athletics websites and to look up information about schools. He came home from swim practice to eat and sleep, of course, then woke up and spent some time on recruiting tasks before going on to another activity. As he got further into the recruiting process, he would use this time to correspond with coaches that he'd developed a rapport with. Executing these first few steps will begin the recruiting process in an organized manner and it'll help get your child off to the right start so that he can quickly be swimming in college. For more information on simplifying the recruiting process, check out the College Swimming Guide website at www.collegeswimmingguide.com to learn how to become a member of the Fastlane. Members receive monthly action items, sample emails to coaches, lists of questions to ask coaches, and many more resources. We also have a directory of all college swim programs in the country with information about each program and questions answered directly by the coaches, including practice schedules, when coaches prefer to be contacted by prospective recruits, whether the program offers scholarships, and what the coaches are looking for in a swimmer. Fastlane members have access to spreadsheets of conference championship meet times and top event times for all of the college swim programs in the country, which saves you hundreds of hours of time in your research. Our Fastlane community is an online space for swim parents to ask questions and share information. And of course, Fastlane members have access to my expertise through the private community, live chats, and the ability to purchase private consultations if desired. I hope you consider joining the Fastlane. 
feel free to contact me through the website if you have questions about the material.